New tonight, another daring defection on the Korean Peninsula. We're now learning more about a harrowing border crossing by a North Korean soldier and what he may have endured to reach safety. Brian Todd is standing by with new information. Uh, what can you tell us, Brian? Wolf, this is a young man in his teens or early 20s who saw a chance today to get across the border in a very thick fog, and he took it. This is the second dramatic defection of a North Korean soldier in five weeks, the fourth one this year. And it's raising serious questions tonight about the conditions inside Kim Jong-un's massive army. Unlike last month's dramatic escape, which was captured by surveillance cameras, today's run for freedom was shrouded by fog along a remote part of the heavily guarded border between North and South Korea. The North Korean soldier in his teens or early 20s took off on foot, looking to cross the demilitarized zone and defect to the south. He was tracked by fellow North Korean troops who were fended off by about 20 warning shots from South Korean units. A short time later, shots were heard from the North Korean side. They probably heard or saw movement. They thought it was the soldier, their soldier, and those were shots to kill. Those were shots to wound. These were not warning shots on the part of the North. They, the North doesn't do warning shots. The defector, who experts say may have somehow evaded landmines, barbed wire, or electric fencing, is in South Korean custody tonight, being interrogated. Today's escape comes just five weeks after that other young North Korean soldier made his dramatic dash across the border. He was shot several times by his comrades and almost killed. This year alone, four North Korean soldiers have risked their lives to desert. Why the rash of them so recently? What does it say about conditions inside the North Korean military? limited uh, opportunities for food and nourishment, the fact that they can't be with their families, all of this cumulative effect. And the only thing that ties them together is this, um, this love and devotion and the fact that Kim Jong-un, the Kim regime, is viewed as a deity. Members of North Korea's Million Man Army have always been treated better than the civilian population. But analysts say in recent years, soldiers have been forced to hunt or grow their own food, even pulling their plows by hand, or to steal food from local villagers. Kang Ri Hyuk defected from the North Korean Army four years ago. Conditions were harsh. Everyone was hungry, even the soldiers. The UN is sending rice and fertilizer, and it all goes to the ranking officials. There are many soldiers who also die from disease because they're not given medical treatment. The soldier who defected last month was found to be severely malnourished. Tonight, human rights monitors are concerned that even though the soldier who defected today is now safe, his family may be in danger. They will most certainly be persecuted. First of all, they will be under extreme surveillance. They will be dragged in for questioning. If there's any indication that they knew that their family member was going to escape, they could be executed, sent to a political prison camp, but they will definitely suffer for this. And experts say heads will probably roll within the military units these soldiers came from. Their superiors will likely be removed from command, tortured, they could be executed. Still, analysts say these recent defections could provoke a rash of more North Korean troops to risk everything and try to dash across that border. Wolf? You know, Brian, the South Koreans have also actively tried to entice North Korean troops to come across. So could that have inspired this latest soldier to defect? Absolutely could have, Wolf. The South Korean Yonhap News Agency reports that after that soldier defected last month, the South Koreans began broadcasting the news of his defection over loudspeakers to other North Korean soldiers just across the border. There's no doubt they heard it. It could have inspired this guy today.